Hello friends, my name is Lilith and I will be hosting our Friday videos here on Piper Blue. Today I am introducing our weekly segment, House of Tales, inspired by characters and themes of books and mythologies I studied during my pastime. This isn't a tutorial per se, more of a walkthrough and time lapse of my personal work. So let's get started. I like working with small format because I'm quite fickle and I'm process driven, meaning the experience of thinking something through is more satisfying and fulfilling than the end product. So working small allows me to cycle through variations of my idea and concept. I did do research and sketches before filming this piece, so that's why I'm going ahead and starting with no underdrawing or outline. I don't enjoy when things are too realistic or rendered, which may sound contradictory if you have seen some of my other works, but I'm just letting the lines guide me to where they want to go. I first came across this fairy tale in a novel written by Helen Oyeyemi, titled Boy Snowbird. I don't read fiction typically, but I am so entranced by Helen's landscapes that I just can't help myself. The themes of the juniper tree center around broken families and misfortune, which is typical of many fairy tales because they served as cautionary messages and were passed through word of mouth for generations, that is, until the Grimm brothers began researching and collecting these stories and compiling them into the book that we know about today. I am working with watercolor and pencil today, and I have the Koi Sakura palette, which I will be linking everything down below if you are interested in my materials. I didn't have a reference image, so I had to make up the lighting on my own. I decided to roughly indicate light coming from above, creating more shadows on the bottom side of the tree. For the seeds and leaves, I used a reference image because I wanted a one-to-one -one scale relationship, and I rendered the leaf stems just enough to provide information about the specimen.
I included a mockingbird because I wanted to draw a bird. <laughs> it's not the best bird I've drawn, but it's okay. good at lettering so I will try and work on it. The paper I used is very dense and the pen tip got snagged often. It didn't create the flow I wanted. I think next time I will try a dip pen or something instead. And now it's on to assembly for the rest of the elements. I'm incorporating different textures like transparent paper, the translucent washi tape that my mom bought in Japan five years ago, the glossy rose stickers. They give the page even more dimensionality, which I really enjoy. And I'm just having fun here, arranging these extra elements in a way that feels right to me. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any comments or questions, or if you have fairy tale recommendations for future videos, please let us know. I hope you have a wonderful weekend, and I will see you next Friday.